I'm Kate Golding. I'm a settler Australian artist based on unceded Wurundjeri country here in what we now know as Melbourne. Cook's Cottage is a really interesting monument because it is a place that he never lived in. It was his parents' cottage. And there's research to suggest that he never would have even visited it because he was already in the Merchant Marines by the time his parents built that cottage. The cottage as it stands in Fitzroy Gardens today is not even remotely the same. It's been, I've been altered. So again, we're getting back to this idea of the way that European history is celebrated as this truth, but it's, it's not objective. It's not an objective truth. This is the thing about Eurocentric history is that often these markers and colonial monuments are meant to be claiming and marking these places, but they're often wrong or a little bit incorrect or just blatantly incorrect, <laughs> you know? So when I went to these places, it was really important to me to find out the First Nations history of those places, to find out whose country I was on and to always acknowledge that country in any reference to the image. To meet with and speak with traditional owners if they were open to that. Definitely the unlearning side of things was very interesting because I was discovering all this history that I hadn't been taught in my own schooling. My project near this spot began when I went to Hawaii in 2012 and I was on the Big Island and I went to the place where Captain Cook was killed, which is Kealakekua Bay. And I went to the place where the plaque is that represents a spot where he was killed and it says on the plaque, near this spot. So that became the name of the project. My name is Elias Redstone and I'm the Artistic Director of Photo 2021. The whole festival explores ideas of the truth and Kate Golding's project really addresses that head on. She is looking at the truth behind memorials and monuments to Captain Cook and in the light of recent movements such as Black Lives Matter that have been questioning memorials around the world, it's a timely project to reevaluate the memorials right here in Australia. For me, being part of Photo 2021 has been an incredible opportunity to create new work, to present that work in a really public way in Melbourne, and then also on a personal level, returning from maternity leave and having my work validated after years of um, being home alone with a newborn.